Notify allows users to create and manage change orders on each job. To do this, start by opening up the job you'd like to add the change order to. You'll want to navigate to the job's contract and change orders screen, and you'll want to make sure that the job is active and has a fixed price contract associated with it. Then, to add the change order, scroll down through the list of line items, and there will be a button that says Add Change Order at the bottom. This will be just like adding a line item to a draft contract, where you'll need to enter in the description of what this change order is, and then the price you're going to charge the customer for it. If you need to provide more information to the customer, you can click where it says Enter Details or Comments to Client. Anything entered here will show up on the change order document that's generated. And if you need help creating a price for this or showing the customer more details than just the lump sum, you can use a bill of materials to write in a list of what needs to be purchased. And you can write in details of all the materials and labor that will go into this change order. You can include your cost for internal reference and then include a markup as well for the customer to see. And you can use the orange button below to automatically set the change order to that value. Then you'll have the ability of adjusting the change order number as necessary. When you save this change order, you'll have the ability to send it directly to the client for digital e signature and approval. Change order documents will show the previous contract total and the revised total once they're approved. And these documents can be customized like others throughout the system. Once the change order is active, it'll automatically show up as something that could be invoiced with the rest of the contract. We'll click Invoice Now, and you'll see that Change Order 1 shows up with all of the other line items that were agreed upon with the client, and we can invoice it in percentages or lump sums as needed. Then when we finalize this invoice, just like the others, it'll be sent to QuickBooks, and it'll take this percentage out of the change order value. If you need, you can also create more detailed change orders with multiple lines on them. Simply use the same Add Change Order option, and we'll write in a new description and price. And once we're comfortable with the description and price of the first line item, we'll click Add Change Order again, and make sure that both open change orders that haven't been saved as draft yet have the same change order number associated with them. This will connect the two lines and make them a single change order with multiple lines on it. So if we save one as draft, it'll save both. So when we preview the document that's generated by Noify, you'll see that both lines are included on a single change order with one number associated with it. You'll also see that when we make one of these change order lines active, it'll automatically make the other one active as well. And if we need to make adjustments to any change orders that have already been approved, using the gear icon next to the description will allow us to revert this change order back to draft. From here, we'll be able to make any changes we need to this change order with pricing, description changes, or anything else that's necessary. When the change order is active again, we also have the ability to simply change the approval date in this same gear icon by clicking Change Approval Date, Setting the New Date, and Submitting. Then, if you want to track the cost of these change orders, you can click where it says Create Phase and Plan Automatically and it'll pull you into the plan and track section where new phases will be added to your list so you can track the cost of specifically the change order lines as opposed to the rest of the project. Just save and switch to active. And now all costs can be pointed at these lines instead of the original demolition and framing phases that were set up earlier.